Video number 212, subtracting whole numbers by mental math. Even numbers, what are they? They're divisible by two. And look at each of these even numbers, 14 and 16. They're separated by two. Any two consecutive even numbers will always be separated by two. In fact, any two even numbers are separated by a multiple of two. Notice how eight and 12 are separated by four. That's just one, two values of two. Odd numbers are also separated by two. They are definitely numbers that are not divisible by two. They are odd numbers. They are definitely separated by two. 13 and 15, 21 and 19, 23 and 21. So our first example, four minus two or four take away two means to remove two objects from a group of four. Or in other words, you're at four, you go back one even number. 4 minus 2 is 2. 19, where are you? Well, you're right between 17 and 21 in the list of odd numbers. 19, take away 2, 17, you're all set. 8 minus 2, well, the answer is 6 because 6 plus 2 is 8. Guys, subtraction is testing whether or not you actually know how to add. If you know how to add, you definitely know how to subtract. If you're having a tough time with subtraction, Brush up on your addition quickness, all right? That's how you'll get better with subtraction. Go back to what? 14, go back to what? Five, go back to 23, it's that simple. Minus three, subtracting three. You're gonna go back, in this case, one even number, and then one more number. So you're gonna go back to two, and then back to one. Four minus three is one. Same thing here. 19 minus 3. Well, if you go 19 minus 2, you land on 17, you just go one more. 16. That's how you do it. 8 minus 3. 8 minus 2 is 6. One more. 5. 3. 4. 2. It's that easy. Subtracting 4, you're going to go back 2. You're going to go back 2 even numbers. So instead of going to 22, you're going to go to 20. 9 minus 4. Instead of landing on 7, bam, you land on 5. 8 minus 4 takes you down to 4. You just skip an even number. Take you down to 2. Takes you down to what? 13, because you skip 15. Skip 3, go down to 1. You're all set. Subtracting 5. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to get comfortable working with the number 5. Otherwise, you stand no chance in working with any other higher values. So you're either going to subtract 3 and then subtract 2, or subtract 4 and subtract 1, or just get very comfortable using the number 5. It's half of 10, so work with it. Well, here's what's beautiful about this one here. 24 minus 5. I would actually do 24 minus 4, because that'll take me right to 20, and then go one more, 19. 9 minus 5. I would actually think of this one as being 10 minus 5, and then know that the separation isn't a total of 5. It's only a total of 4, so therefore the answer is 4. Here, well, in this case, 8 minus 5, you just reverse the situation. What plus 5 gives you 8? Bam! 3. Same thing here as a 1. That one's pretty easy. Well, 17 minus 5. Don't do 17 minus 5. Just do 7 minus 5, which is 2. Therefore, the answer is 12. That's 0. 39 minus 5 is 34. For the same reason that 9 minus 5 is 4, stick a 3 in front of there, you're all set. 14 minus 5. Again, this is just like 24 minus 5. I'll do... 14, take away 4 to land safely on 10, minus 1 more is 9. 32 minus 5, this is a beautiful problem. You're going to go 32 minus 2. That'll take you down to 30, okay? So 32 minus 2 takes you to 30. Then you got, what, 3 more to go, 27, right? That's how you do that. You break the 5 up into 2 pieces. Subtracting 6. Guys, subtracting 6, just like subtracting 5, you just take one more away. So you got 19, now you got 18. Um, 9 minus 6, well this one's easy enough, the numbers are real close together. What do you need to add to 6 to get to 9? Well that's going to be a 3. 2, 0, 11, right, because you're going to do 7 minus 6, which is 1. Tack on the 1 in front of there, it's 11. No, that's actually going to be a negative 1, we'll worry about that later. That's definitely what? 33, because 9 minus 6 is 3, negative 2, and 26. How would you do 32 minus 6? If you do 32 take away 2, you land on 30, minus 4 more, 26, here we go. Minus 7, you're going to do minus 5, then minus 2. Or in this case, maybe minus 4, then minus 3. Either way, you land on 7. That's 12. That's 1. 24 minus 7, how do you do it? Minus 4, minus 3. 
Bam! 17. 17 minus 7? That's definitely a 10. That's the number we wanted to see. 42 minus 7. How are you going to do it? You think of the 7 as being a 2 and a 5. 42 minus 2 is 40. Minus 5 more, 35. 39 minus 7? Bam! 32 because 9 minus 7 is 2. 18 minus 7 is definitely what? Well, you're going to use a 1. Just throw a 1 in front. 11. 13 minus 7. 13 minus 3 takes you down to a 10. How much more do you have to go? 4 more to go. 10 minus 4 is 6. Okay, a mixed review. Now, we have 15 problems here. At some point in the game, you're going to want to be able to do a sheet like this in no more than 15 seconds. All right, let's fire through it. 3, 0, 4, 5, 3, 0, 1, 4, 1, 1, 0, 2, 4, 3, 2. Guys, you've got to be able to fire through it. Here's a mixed review. In this situation, I've made it so that you don't have to worry about um, having to do any of those mental mastery issues of stopping. This is just going to be a straightforward problem. In fact, the first number is basically useless here in every last one of these problems. I made it so that it's very easy. Notice the 6 is bigger than the 3. The 8 is bigger than the 5. I will have it so sometimes they're exactly alike. This is definitely a 30, 7 minus 6. So these are very simple. Basically, you pretend as if you're working with just simply 6 minus 3 and just make it 13. Here, 8 minus 4, just make it 64. So you end up with 13, 30, 73, 35, 51, 26, 12, 74, 51, 20, 33, 92, 45, 64, and 90. Here we go. Now, this one, here's where things get a little bit more fun. You're going to have to use the mental math strategies that I had shown you in the, some of the previous problems. If this was 16 minus 6, we would all be screaming to the rooftops 10. But it doesn't say 16 minus 6. It says 16 minus 8, which is 2 more. So once you land on 10, you subtract 2 more, it gives you 8. 14 minus 9. Well, it would have been really awesome if it said 14 minus 4, but it doesn't say that. It says 14 minus 9, which is what? 5 more than the uh, 4 that we wanted. So it's definitely 10 minus 5. 12 minus 9. Well, if it would have said 12 minus 2, it would be great. So therefore, you just subtract, what? 7 more to bring you down to a 3. 24 minus 6. Again, 24 minus 6. 24 minus 4 brings you down to a 20. Minus 2 more is 18. 12 minus 8. Well, fill in the gap. How far away is this number from 10? 2. How far away is that number from 10? 2. Guess what? The answer is 4. 53 minus 8. Well, 53 minus 3 is 50. 5 more, 45. 16 minus 7. Here's another one of those 10 situations. How far is this number away from 10? 6. How far is this away from 10? 3. What's 6 plus 3? 9. There you go. 15 minus 7, same thing. 5 here, 3 there, that's 8. 64 minus 7. 64 minus 4 is 60. Minus 3 more is 57. This is the same problem we did up here. That's 8. 15 minus 7. Well, same thing. 5, 3, that's 8. Oh, same one. 16 minus 9, 7. 25 minus 7. Well, 25 minus 5 is 20. Minus 2 more, 18. 15 minus 9, same thing. You have 5 away from 10, 1 away from 10. A total of 6. 67 minus 9. 67 minus 7 is 60. Minus 2 more, 58. Questions or concerns, please send me an email. Good times.